Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an item and also how to add a category on your Clover dashboard. So the first thing you're going to want to go do is go to the inventory tab. And right from there, you can see it's going to bring up the first option here, which is items. Adding an item is as simple as clicking the add item button, just inputting a name. So for this example, we'll put test item. Putting in the price, so we'll put a dollar, pressing continue. And then you'll see that it'll pull up a, a separate screen here where you can manage everything about the item. So we have the name, we have the pricing right here where it says show on POS. This is something that you can select if it's a dish, for example, um, like chicken wings that you saw on your menu and you want people to order, you would leave that checked. But let's say, for example, you're adding a can of beans for stock and inventory purposes. You're going to go ahead and want to keep that unchecked because can of beans isn't something that someone might want to order from your restaurant, right? So for this example, we'll leave it checked. Um, here you can select which type of pricing you want the item to use. So you can have it fixed pricing, like at this case we have it a dollar. You can also select variable pricing if the price varies. And you can also do per unit as well too. So just to show you, if you select a variable, the pricing option goes away. And also if you se select per unit, you would put the price and the number of units. And then there you go. So let's go ahead and leave it at fix. Here, if you want to get fancy, you can also have that particular item be a specific color like blue. And here uh, you'll see the taxes and fees. Right now we have the default taxes set up, which is something that I'll show you how to do in another video. Uh, but let's say, for example, this is an item that needs an additional tax or some other tax other than the default tax. Let's say, for example, this system has alcohol sales tax set up. So let's pretend like it's an alcoholic beverage, for example. We'll go ahead and select alcohol sales tax and also regular sales tax. And that way we have those two sales tax applied. Here is where you can also um, control the item for the online ordering. So you can add a picture. You can even change the name, let's say, on your uh, point of sale system from the restaurant. You want it to be called test item, but on the website, you want people to know that that is a purple test item. So you could type in purple test item, and that's how it will come out when people are going online and ordering online. Um, really important, if you want it to show up online, you would also have to select show online. If it's an item that you don't want to show online, going back to the example of the can of beans, you could deselect that. You can also enter a description here and that'll um, show up on your online menu. So if you have like a combo and you want to say, hey, this combo comes with a burger, fries, and a large soda, you can add the description there as well too. Um, here you can also see modifier groups, categories, orders and printing, item tracking, item cost. You, so you can manage all of these things um, and add uh, modifiers, your categories, etc., etc., from these boxes as well. And that's something that I can show you how to do in another video. So for now, we'll leave it at this for the item and we'll say save. And once that's saved, you can go back in right here where it says inventory items. Okay, so now we can see that we're back on this screen. And if I search right here for my item under test, you see right here, it says test item for a dollar. All right, so now let's go ahead and show you how to add a category. So we're gonna go right here, back to our little sidebar, and click on the categories tab. You can see we have some categories already set up. So we'll go ahead and click add category. We'll call it test category. And from here, as you can see, you can also add multiple categories at a time. So you can also put test two category, whatever you wanna name it. This is where you're gonna group all of your items together. So the categories, for example, can be bakery items if you're in a bakery or um, if you are using it for a retail store, you can put shirts, for example, or um, bathing suits. So that's kind of a good way to think about categories. So in any case, we'll go ahead and add those categories and select done. And you'll see they're right here. You can go in to any of the categories that you just created. You can select from here a category color, like gray, for example. 
And you can also update how you want it to show online as well. So similarly to how we change the name to the test item, to purple test item, we can put purple test category if we want it to show up differently online. Um, and something that's also kind of cool too, if you like to keep things nice and organized like I do, you can select here where it says apply to items and category, and they're talking about the color. So we don't have any items um, currently in our category, but if we wanted all of the items that we will add into the categories to be gray or blue or whatever color we want the category to be, then that's what we would check. So let me show you guys how to go ahead and add an item into the category. And so hopefully you guys caught that. Go down here into items, click add, and then you can add whatever items you want. You can simply just select the items here on the side and press save or you can also create an item let's say you said oh i forgot i wanted to add my canned beans to this particular category so you can create an item from here as well too um, you can select the items or you can even search as well like for our test item here and select it and then press save and you'll see here are all the items and that's where this little button comes in here you would click that press save and now all of our items are gonna be gray. You can see here in the little corner, they're gonna show up gray on your POS system. So that's it for how to add an item and how to add a category on your Clover online dashboard. If you have any other questions or if you wanna learn some of those other little tips and tricks and just learn a little bit more about all the other options that we have underneath these categories and item options, please subscribe to our channel. We will be putting up plenty more videos to show you our how-tos on how to navigate and manage uh, your Clover inventory and the dashboard in general. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel, press the like button, and leave us a comment down below with any questions or any subject matter that you want to see moving forward. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Bye!